The Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra is shaping up to be one of the most exciting smartphone releases. In recent memory, with every leak and confirmed detail, it's becoming clear that Samsung is not holding back. This next generation flagship brings several major changes across display technology, performance, software integration, and long-term usability. If you've been waiting for a true upgrade that pushes the boundaries of what a smartphone can do, this might be the device to watch. In this video, we're breaking down the top for new updates surrounding the Galaxy S26 Ultra along with a game-changing confirmation from Samsung that affects every Galaxy user. Starting with the display, Samsung is introducing a new screen technology for the Galaxy S26 Ultra called Cold. The acronym stands for Color on Encapsulation, but for most users, the name isn't nearly as important as what this new panel actually delivers, according to trusted sources like Ice Universe and the ELEC. This new generation of old technology makes the screen thinner, brighter, and significantly more efficient. These three upgrades might seem small at first glance, but their real-world impact could be substantial. A thinner display allows Samsung to reduce the overall profile of the S26 Ultra, possibly making it slimmer or lighter without compromising durability. That means better comfort in the hand and potentially improved heat dissipation from the internals. Brightness is another area where the cold shines literally. The S25 Ultra already reached a peak brightness of 2,600 nits, which is remarkable. But the S26 Ultra is expected to go beyond that, providing better readability in sunlight and more vivid HDR content playback. And when it comes to efficiency, the new panel consumes less power while maintaining high contrast and color accuracy. Since Samsung is retaining the same 5,000 mAh battery in the S26 Ultra, this improvement in display efficiency could directly translate to noticeably better battery life during daily use. Whether you're gaming, binge-watching, or using productivity apps, more screen on time is always a welcome upgrade. Now let's talk about Samsung's 2025 flagship lineup, which is getting a significant restructuring, according to multiple reports, including confirmation from the ELEC and WinFuture. The Galaxy S26 series will include just three models, the Galaxy S26, the Galaxy S26 Edge, and the Galaxy S26 Ultra. That's right, the Plus model is being discontinued. This marks a major shift in Samsung's strategy, perhaps to simplify the lineup and reduce consumer confusion. The new trio offers clear differentiation between the entry-level, mid-tier, and ultra-premium models. And based on display size, leaks, we now have a solid idea of what each model will offer. The base Galaxy S26 will feature a 6.7-inch H display. The Galaxy S26 Edge will go with a 6.66-inch panel and the Galaxy S26 Ultra will top the range with a 6.89-inch screen. Let's now shift focus to software specifically Galaxy AI, which has been a hot topic since its debut. One of the biggest concerns among Samsung users was whether or not these AI features would remain free in the long term. When Galaxy AI was first introduced, Samsung's own website included a footnote stating that the features would only be free through the end of 2025. This understandably sparked backlash from the community. People were worried that features like Live Translate, AI Note Assist, Chat Summarization, and even AI Enhanced Camera Modes might be locked behind a subscription or paywall after a year. That would have felt like a bait and switch after Samsung used these features as a major selling point. Fortunately, we now have official confirmation. Samsung is keeping Galaxy AI free beyond 2025. In a recent statement, the company clarified that AI features developed and maintained by Samsung will remain free for supported Galaxy devices. That includes phones like the S24 Ultra, Fold 5, Flip 5, and of course, the upcoming S26 Ultra. This is huge. In an era where more companies are leaning into monthly subscriptions and AI premium tiers, Samsung is choosing to take the opposite, route making core AI features available to everyone with no hidden charges. It's a bold move, and one that's likely influenced by Apple's recent decision to offer its own AI tools. At no additional cost, there is a small caveat, however. If an AI feature is powered by third-party tech like Google's Gemini platform Samsung, can't guarantee that it will stay free. That decision is up to Google, but realistically, we expect the current model to continue, a basic free tier of Gemini, and a paid Gemini advanced plan for power users. In other words, unless you're looking for enterprise-level AI functionality, you're not likely to see paywalls anytime soon. And for Samsung's own native tools, you're safe, live translate during calls real-time text summarization, intelligent screen interactions, and iPowered suggestions will all remain part of the Galaxy experience with no extra cost. And finally, 
There's one more major development worth mentioning. Samsung is now openly discussing its long-rumored trifold smartphone. While the device didn't make an appearance at the most recent Galaxy Unpacked event, post-event interviews and supply chain leaks confirmed that it's actively in development. The concept features a foldable screen that bends in three segments, creating a Z-shape when fully unfolded. This trifold design would allow for a significantly larger screen than current foldables, while maintaining a compact, pocketable size when folded. Sources close to Samsung have hinted that the trifold will feature a seamless hinge design, a nearly crease-free display, and enhanced durability compared to current generation Z Fold devices. It may also introduce new use cases for multitasking, gaming, and productivity apps, especially when paired with Galaxy AI enhancements. However, the device is still months away most likely targeting a 2026 release window as Samsung finalizes the engineering and production challenges. Still, the fact that Samsung is now talking about it publicly is a strong indicator that the next Evolutio and of foldables is closer than ever. So, let's recap. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is getting a thinner, more efficient co-old display with higher peak brightness and advanced anti-reflective tech. The phone retains its massive 5000 mAh battery but improves screen efficiency to potentially boost battery life. Samsung is streamlining its flagship lineup by removing the Plus model and focusing on just three core variants, the S26, S26 Edge, and S26 Ultra. The Edge model sees a massive camera upgrade, and the Ultra gets a few subtle enhancements, especially to its telephoto system. Perhaps most importantly, Samsung is committing to free Galaxy AI features even after 2025, aligning itself with customer expectations and pushing back against the industry trend of paid AI upgrades. With all these confirmed upgrades and smart software decisions, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is on track to become one of the best flagship smartphones of 2025. Whether you're a tech enthusiast, a power user, a mobile photographer, or someone who just wants a future-proof device with cutting-edge features, the S26 Ultra has something to offer. And with Samsung already laying the groundwork for even more ambitious devices, like the Trifold phone, the next 12 to 18 months are looking very exciting for the Galaxy ecosystem. If you're thinking about upgrading next year, this might be the device to wait for.